Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from eLearningUncovered.com. I recently wrote a post, link in the description, about some of the different ways you can effectively use characters within your e-learning projects. However, one roadblock you might run into is a character that you really want to use, but their clothing clashes with the look and feel of your course. Now, if you've experienced this, you might have thought your only option was to find a new character, but you might actually have more options than you realize. Wouldn't it be nice if you could still use that character that you really, really like and its clothing match the look and feel of your course? Well, that's what I want to show you today. If you have Photoshop, you can quickly and easily change the color of your character's clothing with just a few simple clicks. Let me show you how I do it. I'll start by opening my character in Photoshop. Now, what I'd like to do is change the color of this character's shirt to blue, which will match the color scheme of my course. The first thing I need to do is isolate the pink color of this shirt. To do this, I'll go to the Select dropdown and click Color Range. This will open up a new window and give me the tools to sample and isolate specific colors within my image. Now, although this window has a lot of options, the only ones you really need to worry about are these eyedropper tools and this fuzziness slider. To start isolating this pink color, I'll make sure the first eyedropper is selected and click anywhere on the pink shirt to make my first sample. You'll notice right away, the color range window shows me a preview of the colors that have been isolated. Anything in white is what has been sampled. Now, as you can see, it hasn't sampled the entire shirt. That's because the shirt in this photo has multiple shades of this pink color caused by variations in the lighting and shadows. So I need to keep sampling until the entire shirt has been isolated. This is where the other eyedropper tools come into play. This eyedropper with the plus sign lets me add to my sampled colors, and of course this one with the minus sign lets me subtract or remove colors from my samples. So what I'll do is select the eyedropper tool with the plus sign and continue clicking to sample the different shades of pink within the character's shirt. As I continue to sample more and more shades of pink, you can see the shirt becomes more and more isolated within the preview. Finally, the fuzziness slider lets me adjust the range of colors selected to further fine tune what colors of the image are isolated. Notice as I move the slider to increase the range, it eventually selects colors outside of what I want. So what I need to do is move the slider to decrease the range so only the pink color of the shirt is isolated. Now that I've isolated the color I want to change, I'll click OK, and you can see the shirt has been selected from the image. Now it's time to change the color of it. To change the color of the shirt, the next thing I'll do is create a new adjustment layer for hue and saturation. To do this, I'll click on the layer dropdown, select New Adjustment Layer, and select Hue and Saturation. Then click OK to create the new layer. As you can see, Photoshop creates a new adjustment layer, and this is where I can change the color of the shirt. To do this, all I need to do is move the hue slider to change the color and move the saturation slider to adjust the overall saturation of the color. In this case, I'll move the hue slider to make the shirt this blue color and reduce the saturation so it's not so strong. And that's it. That's how you can use Photoshop to change the color of your character's clothing. I'll just finish this off by saving the image out of Photoshop and now I have a character that perfectly matches the color scheme of my course. Enjoy! Hey, did you like that video? Make sure to check out some of our other great content at elearninguncovered.com.